Seven Lamb Productions presents to you End of All Hope. Season 3, Episode 10 None to Spare. Once again, the alien ship was making its odd noise. They call to us! We must talk to them! We must! I could hear that weird preacher guy, but I couldn't see him among the mass of people. I took a ride around a small grouping of tents and headed north. The whole time I kept my eye out for my parents, but I was having no luck. Should I be surprised? I couldn't help but get excited about the possibility of seeing them again. I normally tried to suppress any feelings of hope because it felt like a waste of energy. That was my thought process anyway. Sadly, it was hard to do when I'd made it this far. Their home may have been empty, but this quarantine zone gave me another chance. Slim, but still possible. More people than you thought, huh? I spun around to see Mia standing by a stack of red canisters. With all this noise, I'm surprised more aliens aren't drawn to this place. And they stick mostly to the city. Although, there was a herd of thrashers south of here two days ago. We were lucky they didn't attack, but when they're spotted, this whole place goes into lockdown. It's really not that far off from the city. Far enough. For now. By the way, uh, I'm also going to keep a lookout for your parents. Did you know them well? No... Maybe talked to them twice since Chris and I moved in. They were welcoming. I think your mom baked us a peach cobbler. Sounds like mom. She was very nice. Sadly, it's hard to remain optimistic. Uh, But more people are coming in every day. I'm not sure they'd stick around. Feels like I may be wasting my time. You're not. And look around. We have a pretty good setup. You can stay for as long as you like. I'm sure Jay's going to want to leave soon, too. He has family he's looking for. Oh, you need help with those? If you're willing. Isaac's dumbass is good enough to get supplies, but he's too lazy to put them where they need to go. I grabbed two of the canisters. And where do they need to go? Up front. Need to refill the vehicles. Mia grabbed two and we headed down the trail. So what are the chances of us getting a vehicle? Finding one won't be easy. None to spare? <laughs> Hell no. Roger won't give any up. We jumped on the main path and headed towards the front of the zone. And I'm assuming most in the city are shot? That would be a safe assumption. (sighs) We still have a ways to travel. I'm telling you, Roger won't just hand them out. All right, there's only so many not counting the bikes and ATVs. And most of the vehicles here were blown to shit. That's why we use them as lookout points. When we reached the front, Mia had us put the gas canisters by an RV. Like this bad boy. She smacked the back of the vehicle. It doesn't run. Then won't putting gas in it be pointless? (laughs) <laughs> We're not putting gas in it. We're in her group around a supply run. We'll refill the bikes when she gets back. Now, let's go grab the others. We headed back to the pile. There were still ten left. At least this place is stocked. One of the perks of being so close to the city. So many rateable houses. So, how'd you get to be a supply runner? I offered. So did Travis. 
so did Lane. And Sammy and Kylie? Sammy? Uh, I, I don't remember. But Kylie and I met behind the fences when we were quarantined. We stuck close together. When the place was overrun, we looked out for each other. So afterwards, when Roger and company came to the rescue, I offered my services. And she did as well. Reluctantly. But your service was a ploy? No, it was legitimate. Really? Roger seemed somewhat upset last night. Please. He may have helped secure this place, but he doesn't own us. We don't work for him. We're doing it for the people here. To help. Right. And yes, sometimes I like to venture a little further east. Search for Chris? That was his name, right? Her name. Her? Chris is short for Christine. My wife. Oh. And searching for her is my business. If Kylie, Sammy, and the rest don't want to tag along, they don't have to. It's their choice. Well, you found a nice stash of guns. I knew it was there. This guy Carl was a huge gun nut, lived down the street from us. Super conservative religious type and not friendly at all. Don't think he cared too much for the lesbians down the street. He voiced concerns? He made threats. That's fucked up. Very. But lucky for us, his guns were still in his house. You don't know what happened to Carl? Psst, no. And I don't care. I hope Mia not only moves some gas canisters, but also several other bags and crates filled with supplies. There you go. Maybe on your next supply run, you can look for a cart or a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Usually I load stuff on the ATV, but Maria has it. How often do you guys go out? We run shifts, so Isaac's group has morning, Maria's afternoon, and we have night. We've been having to do more runs since more people keep showing up. Yeah, you got yourself a little city. Oh, no, not me, Roger. Word has it he's leaving. That's what Lane and I believe. But who knows? Speaking of Roger... No, no, no. I'm not authorizing that. But you have no right. Sorry, Mr. Smith. Preacher Smith. Okay, Preacher Smith. But you know the rules. How many times do I have to tell you? No one takes any vehicle from the area unless it's for a supply run or otherwise granted. You don't own the vehicles. Those buses were here when we arrived. And they'll stay here. Looks like you're not the only one who needs a ride. I see that. You have no rights, sir. Sorry, but you're not taking a bus. Odds are you wouldn't bring it back. You have no idea what you're talking about. More than you. Maybe if you didn't fire that weapon every time you were upset. Okay, enough. Go. And if you start any problems, I'll see to it personally that you're escorted out of this zone. We must talk to them. We must talk to them. Then you can walk. I have followers. Then they can follow you, Moses. Now go. Roger pushed the preacher forward. The old man muttered to himself and then marched off into the crowd. Mia! Treat him poorly and you may burn for all eternity. That crazy net is going to get a lot of people killed, trust me. I don't trust anyone. Probably for the best. What are you doing right now? I need a favor. Oh, sure. We just lugged a bunch of gas cans and other supplies halfway across camp because Isaac's lazy ass needed a cat nap, and you scolded me last night like I was a troubled teen. But sure, I'm itching to help more. <sighs> Can you not? <sighs> what do you need, Roger? Maria's group should be back soon. I want to know if you can take a couple people and make a run to the water tower. Why do we have to wait till Maria's back? We need the truck for that. I thought you might want to take a couple bikes, too. <laughs> you expect me to take a whole group? Won't you? It's not our time. I can't wait till tonight. We're running low. Take whoever's willing. I talked to Travis. Fuck Travis! Then take Kylie or Lane. Oh, you think they want to make a run now? Then take this guy. I don't give a shit. Me? Uh, no. No thanks. I, I have things to do. 
Well, I don't give a shit who goes, but we need water. It hasn't rained in a while. Exactly. Leave me the keys in the truck. Fine, but not alone. Find someone. Should I ask? Ask what? Roger, uh, hold on. Wait, Ambridge! Hey, Roger. Yeah? My friend and I are trying to make it to California, San Diego specifically. Any way we could secure a vehicle, or do you know where we could find one? Sorry, buddy, we don't just hand them out. This is a safe haven for people. We need all our supplies. I understand that, but... And San Diego's gone. Demolished. You know that for sure? A couple guys came in from out west. They said it was bad. L.A. too. Like Denver? From what I heard, it's worse. I still need to make it there. Well, maybe you didn't hear me talk to that nutbag with a cross around his neck. We don't give out vehicles. Then maybe you can let me know where I can find one. We're right next to one of the largest American cities. You can try there. But with all the thrashers talking about, I don't think it would be an easy find. We're lucky with the vehicles we got. Two of which we brought with us. And just replacing a battery doesn't always work. (laughs) Good luck, bud. He patted me on the shoulder and walked off. He's such a pleasant man. I see that. Well? Well, what? Wanna help? I think my offer of service ended with the piling of gas cans. Don't make me go with Travis. I can't stand the guy. I thought he ran your little group. (laughs) Okay. I can't leave Jay, and we really need to find a vehicle. Why? Aren't you going to search for your parents? I told you, more and more people show up every day. And what, I'm just supposed to wait around? That's a waste of time. So you're going to head towards destruction. That's what I did heading here. My point exactly. It's not a waste of time to stay here. I'm not going to hold out hope. Why? Because it's fucking pointless. Mia turned away from me. That's when I realized my mistake. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I I didn't mean... You know, we have a good thing here. And I'll wait as long as I have to for Chris. It's not pointless. I'm sorry. There's vehicles where I'm going. Thought you said most were dead. In the city. But we're heading north. Small town with an easily accessible water tower. You think I can find a vehicle there? I'm not making any promises. Well, I can't hotwire even if the opportunity presented itself. That was Harris's expertise. Someone else might be able to. For some reason, I feel like you're just making shit up so I go. Lane and Sammy won't join. Kylie maybe, and I don't even want to ask Travis. You help me get water, I'll help you search for a vehicle. How far is this town? An hour away. If the vehicles were of any use to you, you'd have brought them here. That's not entirely true. Why do you say that? Come with me and I'll tell you. She crossed her arms waiting for my reply. You should at least stay for a few days. And if you help me, I'll put in a good word. With Roger, he doesn't loan out vehicles. No. But a couple of his friends are repairing some. I put in a good word. They may be able to fix one up for you. Why? Why what? Why me? Just offering help. You don't have to accept it. Even if what she was saying was a lie, I could still go searching for a vehicle. Would Jay want to stay? And what would he say if I told him San Diego was destroyed? He'd still want to go, but would he be able to handle the devastation? So? (sighs) Fine. Let me talk to Jay first. End of All Hope Written by Robert M. Lamb Edited by Isa Yazdezadeh Starring Hope Ennis as Ava Nick Engelhardt as Mark Adam Jetmore as Jay Jack Austin as Ambridge Jody Swenson as Stephanie Catabel as Madison Chris Titoli as Teddy and Preacher Smith Ariel Hack as Mia, Gina Coyle as Kylie, Brett Wilkins as Travis, Gareth Thomas as Sammy, Michael Moman as Roger, and Crystal Hall as Lane. Co-starring Amber Simpson, 
Amy LeRae, and Robert M. Lamb. Music provided by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com, Eldritch Chachala of Nemesis Black at ReverbNation.com slash Nemesis Black, and Amberlynn Nicole at YouTube.com slash Amberlynn Nicole. If you enjoy this podcast, don't forget to rate and review. Visit www.7lamb.com for other audio dramas such as this one. This has been a Seven Lamb production.